In today's show, we have a pet dress-up story and a fan of the week stand-up. I'm Haley. And I'm Madison. And you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Madison, have you heard of Fan of the Week? I've heard if you show school spirit during games, you can earn a cash prize. I don't know about that, but Allie went to find more about it. What's up, Vikes? I'm here with Miss Guys to talk about Fan of the Week. So what is it? Fan of the Week is a program started by a spirit club to motivate our fans to cheer for all of our sports teams during all of their games. Awesome. How do people get nominated? They can be nominated by a staff, their peers, or just honestly by me, um, looking over and seeing our very excited and motivated fans. Awesome. And what's the prize for this? Well, our first prize was $20 in cash to Miss Lauren Wren. Um, I think our second prize will be a gift card to some place. We haven't decided where yet because we're still looking for that second fan of the week. Awesome. Make sure and go to the game tomorrow Here, to win Fan of the Week. Now back to your anchors. If you have a nomination for Fan of the Week, please contact Miss Geis. Now for your announcements. If you have missed the fall ACT prep class, we have another one on Thursday, February 13th. Registration forms are available in the front office. We now have a new copier that students can access in the library. Please use this as your default print option and add SHS Library Save In Copier. The next Washburn Tech entrance exam is going to be Friday, January 4, 24th from 12.30 to 3. If you're interested in taking it, please come to the counseling office and sign up by January 21st. Applications are being accepted now through Friday, January 17th for students interested in participating in half-day job shadow experience. If you have any questions, please stop by Mrs. Noble's office in Career and Life Cent Planning Center. Congratulations to the eight students who received a total of 12 awards at this year's Scholastic Art Competition in Wichita. Give them a shout out if you see them around. Now over to sports after this quick commercial break. What's up guys? It's your guy Elias Mosier here and hey, I got a great product for you. It's called SVTV Live Streaming, okay? We want to get this done so we can see all those sports like, go touchdown bowl, man. Like, get a strike, my dude, and golf. Like, you know, these great sports. If you want to see them live, all you got to do is go down and hit that subscribe button. Just smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification and like the video. Thanks, guy. See you later. The Vicats dance team will be hosting fundraising night at the pad on Tuesday, January 21st. Friday at 1.15, Mia Wheeler will sign a letter of intent to cheer at Washburn University. Congratulations, Mia. Now to weather with Haley to see if we have a snow day tomorrow. <coughs> I'm Haley and this is your weather forecast. Currently it is 35 degrees outside and tonight it will drop to 14 degrees. For your three day forecast tomorrow there is a high chance of snow. Saturday it will be 36 and Sunday it will be 26. Now back to your anchors. I went around to see who dressed their pets up. Let's go check it out. Today is National Pet Dress Up Day. Let's go see why people dress their pets up. Why do you dress up your dog? Just for fun. Uh, because it's super cute. Um, my husband's and I dog has a very bright personality without dressing him up so dressing him up just makes him even more fun and we like to see what outfits we can get for him and my mom will buy outfits for him all the time and so it's just fun for us and he probably hates it but I mean it's fine. <laughs> How often do you dress your dog up? Uh, whenever me and my sister find anything around our house that we can put on our dog we'll put it on our dog. If it were up to me I'd dress him up every day uh, but usually just now for holidays. We dress him up probably every other week. Um, he has bandanas that he wears almost every day. And then for the Chiefs game, he has a Chiefs jersey for his birthday. He has a birthday light shirt. And then when he goes to like my mom's house, um, we'll dress him up in the things that she taught him. And 
it's like a daily basis of his outfits, what we can put on him. <laughs> wow, those are some great costumes. Have a great rest of your day. Those were super cute. That's all we have for today, Bikes. Have a great rest of your day. Ow! Ow!